the welcome to Whippoorwill Holler. I'm Miss Lori, and this is Mr. Brown. We live in the hills of Arkansas. We love the Lord. Keepers of the old way, but accept some of the new. We love to cook, and we love to eat. We love to garden. It's in our blood. It's how we stay sustainable and fill our pantry. We do a lot of canning and preserving. We live a sustainable life. We love our family. We work hard. And every once in a while, we like to dance. So y'all join us. Miss Lori's in her comfortable clothes, and we're going to get started on this low-carb dish. First thing I'm going to do is I've got my skillet right here, and I cut me up probably about, this is a small onion, but you can put as much onion in as you want. So I just diced up a small onion, and then I had some bell peppers in the freezer. This is probably what you might call half of a bell pepper chopped up. And I'm just gonna turn my burner on. And I'm gonna get a little bit of olive oil, or you can use any kind of cooking oil that you want. And I'm gonna saute my onions and my bell peppers first. And then I'll put my uh, cauliflower here, my rice cauliflower. And we'll cook it for just a little bit. I had put up a bunch of red, orange, and yellow bell peppers in the freezer. Those are my favorite. And I'm still using them. This is from last year, so. And everything's good when you use bell peppers and onions in it, ain't it? So I'm going to let these saute. Then I'm going to come back and we're going to cook our rice cauliflower. We're just going to cook it like you, uh, like you probably would maybe fried rice. That's how we're going to start it out. We're going to put it in our skillet and then we're just going to cook it till it starts getting a little bit golden brown. Now you can make this a lot easier on yourself and buy you a bag of frozen rice cauliflower that's already riced for you. I always keep several bags in my freezer at all times. But I had this and we're going to use my um, food processor and I'm just going to Chop it up just enough to kindly, small enough to about the size of rice. Now you can do this with a hand grater, um, but this was just faster this way. And we need about 10 ounces is what we're needing. So I'm gonna stop right here. Um, I'm not gonna chop up all of my, the whole big head of cauliflower because I don't think I'm gonna need it. But I am going to weigh it, and this weighs a little over 11 ounces, and that's okay. We need 10 ounces of rice cauliflower, and that's 11.2, I think, so that'll work. And this is how I think I'm going to do it. I, the onions and bell peppers have been cooking, and the onions are starting to get a little translucent. So I'm just going to put a little bit more olive oil in here, maybe a tablespoon. You can use any kind of oil you want to. And I'm going to go ahead and put my rice cauliflower in and let it be browning up and cooking with my onions and bell peppers. And I'm just going to saute this and brown it, kind of like if you were making stir fry. 
And when I do stir fry, I use leftover rice. Y'all seen me, a lot of y'all seen me make, when I make rice, I always make extra rice and uh, I freeze a bunch of it because I use it in different dishes, especially stir fry. So I've already got my cooked rice and I just put it in the refrigerator and thaw it out because the next day I don't want to use it for stir fry. And uh, so that's kind of how I'm doing this cauliflower. Or you could say that I'm doing it like if I was going to make Spanish rice. I would take my raw rice and I would cook it and uh, saute it till it was kind of golden brown before I would put my liquid in it and cook it. So that's, that's kind of how I'm doing this right here. And we're going to be putting some seasoning in our riced uh, cauliflower and uh, when we cook our hamburger meat we'll be putting seasoning in that too so everything's going to be seasoned up really good uh, me and mr brown love tacos and we love that taco seasoning so but the thing of it is if you're eating and a lot of y'all know this it's low carb and <laughs> been on this journey for a long time that a lot of your like I do love Taco Bell, taco seasoning in little packets, but it has a lot of ingredient, uh, unnecessary ingredients in it, but that way it also has sugar in it, so we won't be using that, but if you're not, you know, on this low carb journey, and but you want to try this dish, go ahead and, and use your packaged uh, taco seasoning. But we won't be using that. We're just going to use our, our regular seasonings that we have in our cabinet. Our last cauliflower is starting to get a little bit of a brown on top. Starting to get that golden brown color like it's supposed to. Now I'm just gonna make me a, make me a little hole right there, and I'm gonna put me about a tablespoon of tomato paste right there in the center. Just let that cook just a minute. That way you don't get that raw tomatoy taste. Okay, I'm going to put, oh, about a half a cup of water. We're going to put about a teaspoon of chili powder. A half a teaspoon of cumin. About a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. And about a fourth of a teaspoon of onion powder. I'm going to put a little bit of salt. That's probably about half a teaspoon of salt. I'll taste it later to see if it needs more salt. Put about a fourth of a teaspoon or so of black pepper. And I'm going to stir this up. And I may put just a little bit more water in that. That evaporated pretty quick. Let me put just a little bit more water. put another fourth of a cup so we'll say that I ended up putting about three-fourths cup of water and that's just going to help incorporate all that tomato paste and the seasonings and kind of after browning kind of steam that cauliflower just a little bit 
So I'm going to let this cook for about five minutes. I'm going to put the lid on it and turn it on low and we'll cook it for about five minutes. My rice is done and I've got it turned off. I've got my bacon dish right here. This is a it's about an 11 and a half by 8 bacon dish. It's not a 9 by 13. Um, but it makes a pretty good size portion and a leftover probably for Mr. Brown's lunch tomorrow. But if you're wanting to, you can also double this recipe. But I'm going to take this rice. I'm going to put it on the bottom of my baking dish that I sprayed and I'll use the same skillet to cook my hamburger meat in. now you could also do this with chicken you can make this casserole with chicken instead of hamburger meat or ground pork ground chicken, whatever you want to use. Um, but I tell you, me and Mr. Brown just dearly love tacos. And this is just a more, uh, less, less carb way of getting our satisfaction of our tacos. Taco Tuesdays. And I know a lot of y'all have been wanting these recipes. I've got friends that are on keto diets that need different recipes for low carb. So I'm going to spread this out. Then I'm going to get my hamburger mate in this pan and get it browned up. And I'll show you what kind of seasonings we're going to put put in with our hamburger meat. I've got my ground beef in here and we're going to season the ground beef. I'm going to put probably a half a teaspoon of salt. Put some black pepper. We're going to go ahead and season it just like we would. And um, I don't have any type of seasoning made up. I do have a video doing that. Um, so, what I'm going to do is sprinkle about one teaspoon of chili powder over the meat. About a half a teaspoon again of cumin. So it's pretty much the same ratio as what we put in the rice. About a half a teaspoon of garlic. Some onion powder. And then you want to keep this chopped up pretty good. Now when I get this browned up, I'm going to put a 4 ounce can of green chilies. You can use a can of Rotel if you want to. I don't care for Rotel. But I do love green chilies. So we'll get this browned up. And then we'll come back and get our meat all done and in the pan too. Okay, we're gonna reevaluate our seasoning. I come back, I tasted it, and I come back and put a whole nother half a teaspoon of cumin, half a teaspoon of chili powder. I put 
uh, probably another fourth a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of garlic powder. But I want y'all to taste it. But the recipe and how much I used will be down in the description box below the video where all of my recipes are. You just look below your video at the title of the video and you'll look down there and you'll see the word more or show more and you'll click on that and when you do all of my information and all of my recipes come up and uh, you just scroll down you'll see all that. But anyways, just taste it to, and, and doctor it up to your liking. I'm going to put, I'm going to go ahead and put about a tablespoon of tomato paste in there too, only because what it's going to do is just going to bind it, kind of bind it up. Because we're going to be putting it over this, it'll be a whole nother layer. That was my, <laughs> that was my alarm that goes off when somebody comes down the driveway. Mr. Brown must be coming in. I'm pretty sure I have those alarms in my Amazon store. I know some of y'all have asked me about them. We have several around our place, one coming down the drive, and we have them here and there in different places, and each one makes a different sound, so you'll know which one's going off. Okay. I'm going to stir in four ounces of green chilies. Now really and truly, this would come together really quick. Because while you were cooking your rice, you could be cooking your hamburger meat. But you know, how it is when you're trying to teach somebody a recipe, you just you have to go step by step, so it just takes a little longer. So at this point, I'm done with my hamburger meat. If there's anything that you want to add to it, like jalapenos or anything, but like I said, I've got my green chilies in there, but some people like to put, uh, to cut up a jalapeno and put it in all their Mexican dishes. So that's just up to you. I got my oven sitting on 350, and I'm gonna layer my meat on top of my rice. Okay, now we're going to put some cheese on top of that. And what I've got is, when I went to Sam's Club the other day, this is a melting cheese. It's called Chihuahua Mexican st Mexico style, uh, but you use whatever kind of cheese that you've got and you want to use. And I'm just going to put this cheese on top. Now, if you want to, if you'd like black olives, you can put just some black olives on there. But we're not done. Once I get this out of the oven, I've got more layers that we're going to put on it. And it's just going to be wonderful. Now, I talked about uh, doubling this recipe. Because you could make this recipe and serve it at a potluck or if you had a dinner guest or anybody over, especially if somebody is on keto and you're wanting to cook for them, this would be wonderful. 
Y'all don't look at my dirty. I think that was coffee spilt there this morning. So we got our cheese on there. I'm going to put this in a 350 oven. And it's only going to probably cook anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes is all it's going to take. We're going to go out here and get us some lettuce to eat with our taco casserole. I've got some romaine, but I've got some of this butter crunch, and I think it's getting pretty big. And I'm thinking that that's what I'm going to use today. If I can do this with one hand. Did I do it? Yes. Yes, I did. So we got us some pretty lettuce. Broccoli's looking good. This is a broccoli rob. Everything's still looking pretty good. I think we'll get us some green onion too. It's been about, been cost 15 minutes. And I think our keto, low carb, Mexican casserole is done. So we're gonna get it out and we're gonna put all this goodness on top of it. And then we're gonna taste of it, it's gonna be so good. I just took the casserole out so it's still hot. And we're going to top this and I'm gonna show you how pretty it is. And this is really something that you can serve, not just to, not just to yourself, or to, you know, you and your spouse that you're on a low carb diet, but this is really something to serve to dinner guests and stuff. I mean, you have a lot of people that are on low carb diets and that's why they won't go out and eat a lot or to people's houses because they're trying to stay on that low carb diet and stuff like this. It's just wonderful and uh, you can make it beautiful and just show them how wonderful the dish is and i'm going to take this lettuce that i got out of the garden now i don't have tomatoes yet that'll be a while but i do have lettuce and well these tomatoes come from the farmer's market so we're just going to top it with our tomato. And me and Mr. Brown love tomatoes. When we're eating tacos, we absolutely love them on our tacos. And we like a little bit of onion too. Not too much. So I picked a little bit of a green onion out of the garden and I'm just going to top it with that green onion and doesn't this look so good now if you're somebody that loves black olives put them on there and then I've got some avocado avocado is very good on your low carb diet it's very good for you and it's it's just it's a wonderful fruit. Avocado is a fruit. And it's a wonderful addition to your low-carb diet. If you like avocados. And Moon Mr. Brown absolutely love them. And it's, they're so good for you. And we're just going to put some avocados on there. We are big guacamole eaters, too. My whole, well, pretty much my whole family is. So, you can put as much avocado on there as you want. I'm 
I'm going to take a little bit of black pepper, put over that avocado and tomato. And there you have it. This is your low carb Mexican casserole. So if you can make a low carb dish and it's Mr. Brown approved, then you've done pretty good. And like I said, this man loves tacos. <laughs> So, I like Mexican food, but what do you think about this low carb dish? I think it's good, very good. If you're on a low carb diet, it'd be satisfying, wouldn't it? It would, it, it would be fine. It's, it's good. I know you'd like to have a crispy tortilla chip with it, though, wouldn't you? <laughs> well, especially at supper time, it's not, I don't need it. <laughs> so, you can be Southern, you can eat fried pies, but you can also eat low carb too. Just have to. We done it one time. In moderation. I done it and lost 25 pounds. Yeah, you did. So I hope y'all like this recipe and I hope y'all try it. I've had people want me to do more uh, low carb recipes and I've got some more coming. I've just been uh, taking my time going back and forth with all these requested recipes and, and different things, gardening and stuff that people are wanting to see. And I'm fixing to get, <laughs> we're sitting here watching Mr. Brown eat. Mm -hmm. um, we're fixing to get start in uh, doing a little bit of canning. Not that I've got anything coming out of the garden yet, but I'm needing to make some uh, beef broth and get it canned up and some different things that I want to get done before the garden starts coming off and some put some more beans up. Like watching me eat. Yeah, we're just sitting here wanting you to eat. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, we'll see y'all in a couple of days. We'll be doing something, I guarantee you. It's beautiful outside, but it's windy and a little bit chilly, ain't it? We're getting March winds it in was May. 38 degrees this morning. Was it really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. I didn't know it was supposed to get that cold. It did. In the valleys. Okay, tell everybody bye, Mr. Brown. We'll see him. We bye, love everybody. him. I hope you enjoyed watching me eat. <laughs> see y'all <laughs> later.